Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, take two. The first time you couldn't even see the knife. Let's try this. Maybe angle you down. You don't need to see my face. Let's just see if we can see the, the kniff right here. All right, we focused. All right. If I hold it here, can you see it? Yeah? Yeah? Maybe that's a little better. All right. Update on the 25. I've got a few guys asking me about it. And um, I still like this knife. It's two thumbs up from me. It's everything I loved about the Umnumzon. But it's wrapped up in the design style of the 21. And it has an extra badass finger choil here that just uh, makes it feel a little better. And it doesn't get in the way. There's a lot of times where I don't like all these extra choils and stuff. Because I feel like it forces your hand into a certain grip. And I guess, yes, it forces your hand a little bit more than like a 21 would. Where it's just basically a straight handle and then the guard. Um, but this is how I grip my knife most of the time. When I cut something with it. Or I do like a draw cut or a pull cut like this. And I'm backwards. Well, these choils are not big enough to dig into the webbing of my hand here. So it's it's not an issue at all. I love it. Um, I have noticed and uh, have said a few times now, so I'm not going to keep going over it, that the action is not quite as smooth. Uh, I can even loosen up this pivot so much, in fact, that you, know, you could take the screw out. And it still has a little bit of this... I wouldn't say it's not smooth. It's just not hydraulic like like a 21. And um, yeah, we're at soccer practice here. Again, I don't know if you see that people pulling it. They think I'm a weirdo. Who cares? So um, anyways, I think that they're springing this lock bar over now with a little more force. So it's making it lock up. You can see some people have commented on this, how it kind of jumps itself open. And you can almost hear it. It's a lot louder than your normal Chris Reader knife. If I can stop talking. So I think they're putting a little more pressure on that, which in turn is as you're opening the knife, right, the detent is rubbing up against the blade steel a little harder. So, of course, it's not going to be quite as smooth. But you gain a little bit more lock strength in that. And you also gain a um, stronger detent, which is always a good thing, too. You almost see it kind of snaps its shelf shut. So, that's good. I'm going to do a breakdown video of this really quick here. Maybe tonight. I can't remember when I had this apart if this detent hole is drilled all the way through. I'm trying to look. You can see it inside the crack here, but I can't tell if it's all the way through or not. If I remember right, I think it is. Anyways, we'll, we'll look at that on the breakdown. Another big thing I've noticed, and I noticed uh, Jay Davis had said something about this, that the blade steel seems to be harder. I would definitely agree. I've found that to be the case. Um... I would have probably had to sharpen a regular S30V Sebenza by now at least twice. And this one I've only stropped just a few times and it's razor sharp. Uh, it's probably not hair whittling sharp, but I don't need that for EDC. That could be another video too. I mean, how sharp do you need to go for EDC? I talk to a lot of guys on the phone. I talk, you know, through emails and stuff and, uh, I think we all kind of agree, if you're really honest, you don't need a knife that will whittle hair to carry every day, you know. For me, my personal test is just to see if knife weight alone, if it will stick on the back of your nail at different angles. Right? So if you can move it around like this, it's sharp enough for me. That usually means it'll shave hair, um, and that's good enough for me. So, is it always fun to bring it beyond that? Of course. I mean, that's why we're all here, right? Or most of us. So, yeah, the blade steel is harder. The design is awesome. It's really grown on me how it looks. 
with this extra you know finger choil here I, I like the smooth no back I put the longer Chris Reeve lanyard knot on here or just a regular noose knot and it's not a problem I initially thought that it would slide down into here right because the way it's designed and then get cut off and stuff but I don't know if you can see there's there's no marks or anything on that string if it's even focusing I can't see I'm like blind shooting this whole video so anyways blade steel's harder designs great locks up with what seems to be a little more authority right and um, it's very low maintenance much like the umnums on I've said that years and years ago how uh, my umnums on when I did that little sand test a lot of people said what the hell why would you that has no you know why would you ever do that well for me personally it was just I wanted to see how tight the tolerances were so if the sand didn't get inside all that action you know then I knew it was pretty pretty close so of course sand got in the action but when I rinsed it out with water it was fine after that and as soon as it dried out it was nice and smooth again so anyways I expect this is gonna do the same and when I say that the actions not as smooth it is smooth but it's just stiffer if that makes sense it's it's a little weird you'd have to just experience it okay as far as the clip goes um, yeah, it's in the way for me, but it totally depends on how you grip the knife. So, if I grip the knife way up here by my knuckles, right here, and I really squeeze hard, yes, I can feel the clip. If the knife comes out at my fingertips and I grip it like this, no, I can't feel it at all. So, depends on how you grip your knife. And even when I can feel it right here, I don't cut enough with the knife for it to be a problem. So... Take that for what you will. It's definitely not a deal breaker for me. It's just one thing that I can say that's not perfect on this knife. So, But even with the clip, still thumbs up. No deal breaker. Um, just kind of wish they would have either shortened the clip or brought it up a little bit or just, you know, maybe did something else with it. I don't think they should have angled it. I don't know what it would be. Maybe just moving it up just a hair. But then this clip would be on the the um, line where the lock bar and the frame lock kind of you know meet right here I don't know if he wants to do that but anyways yeah blade steel is a little bit harder I'm trying to think of all the stuff because as soon as I turn this video off there's gonna be a few things that I wish I would have said I don't know I guess I can make another video it seems seems like a winter design to me some people are expecting uh, inlays and stuff. I don't think that's going to happen for a while, like probably like a few years or a year or two. I think first he would do the small 25 first and then the, uh, the inlays. But I have no inside information. That's just me totally guessing, you know, kind of watching Chris Reeve grow as a company over the past 10, 15 years or so. so. He seems to be very not cautious but very well thought out in what he's doing and stuff so I think the small is probably coming they're just not saying it yet maybe we'll see something at blade it'd be really neat to see an inlay some people are wondering about the inlays because it's this design now are they gonna go to like a one inlay kinda like the regular annual Sabenzos if you look at them they're they're one piece and then or are they gonna do the two bars like they have been doing on the 21 and then the classic I don't know. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm going to uh, probably be posting another um, customizing video here pretty quick here. I think I've got a lot of stuff going on in the shop. So lots of cool stuff coming up on the channel. Hey, guys, always appreciate you hanging out. Have a good day. See ya.